Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today I have the pleasure to taste the Johnny Walker Blue Label. This is one of the very, very famous single, uh, blended whiskies from Scotland. So here we have to be very careful. It's a high-end whiskey priced above 100 euros, dollars, pounds, sometimes close to 200 in some parts of our world. And this is a high quality premium blended whiskey. And that means that there are several malt whiskies and grain whiskies blended together by a master blender, a very knowledgeable master blender. And the quality is constant over, well, not only in decades, but <laughs> hundreds of years. The blue label is not the top of the line. I had a few Johnny Walker, King George V and Odyssey and whatever. Uh, but this one is the regularly available uh, Johnny Walker high-end whiskey. It does not carry an age statement. There are others out there, the platinum, 18 years of age. It's cheaper and it carries an age statement, but this one not because they select the cast they would like to have to create this character of the Johnny Walker Blue. And uh, well, they write it here on the back side of the box that they select, they handpick just one out of 10,000 casks. So, well, most of the casks are selected for Johnny Walker Red Label. Then there are uh, still a few million a black label and then they, they are becoming rare. The green label and the gold reserve, it's now called the platinum, uh, and this one. So I, I believe in that one cast out of a thousand, but they need casts from several distilleries. There is a, a decent amount of a smoky whiskey in it, and it's called, it's said that it's from Kalila, from the Isle of Isla. The Johnny Walker was established, the company and the, the brand was established by John Walker. Uh, I think it has a grocery store in Kilmarnock uh, in the Lowlands, established in 1820. And uh, there he sold his whiskey and blended his whiskey. And then his son, Alexander Walker, he went global. And he received gold medals over gold medals around the world uh, so that uh, the brand of Johnny Walker became very, very famous. It's one of the very ancient, old founding fathers of, well, the blended whiskey boom worldwide. Uh, the former bottles around the year or before the year 2000, I think they had a light green glass in it and was designed according to the old bottles from the 19th century, early 19th century, because there uh, they weren't able to produce uh, colorless or white glass in such big dimensions. So they stayed with a lightly greenish bottle. And today it's the Johnny Walker Blue. So the bottle is lightly blue in color. Yeah, mm, there is a, uh, a, how it's called, a slogan. Our whiskey cannot be beat. So our whiskey is the best. And this was established, I think, by Alexander Walker, 1888. And uh, yeah, and there's a special sentence uh, according to him, quality or same quality throughout the world. So he acted global. He got, well, gold medals from New Zealand, from Australia, uh, from the US, all over the world. So he collected that and with his pride of producing one of the best uh, whiskey. Uh, well, he started that gigantic uh, whiskey business, which is now behind the Johnny Walker. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Here there's a, a seal. 
flickering around. Uh, established 1820, it's written here. So this shows you that this bottle is original. So it's really, really difficult to make a fake. They would always go to another brand to fake that. This is complicated. So if this uh, seal is there, then the bottle is original. There is a, uh, a bottle number on this, but it's well, five digits and has some lot number. Uh, so I don't think that is that uh, rare as they always say. Um, but it's, well, they are taking more care of that. So we open it here. I have the capsule, which is, oh. Quite stable here. Yeah. Fruitiness and a light smokiness already on the cork. So this one has 40% ABV. So it's for the masses so that you, if you're a <laughs> quite wealthy person, uh, you're just going somewhere worldwide, buy that bottle and are able to drink it immediately without having to look after some quality water. Yeah, the smell is wonderful already here. It's a light smokiness on top from that Kalila malt, which is said to be in that. And in former times they said there are up to 50 year old whiskies in that bottle. But then with the new regulations uh, of the uh, Scotch Whiskey Association, um, it was forbidden to say up to 50 years because if you're doing a drop of 50-year-old uh, malt whiskey in this, then it would be a 50-year-old. Uh, so they stopped that quite a time before. Um, so it's really not sad how old the whiskies are in this bottle. And whenever you see somebody writing down oh, up to 50 years uh, that's, that's not true. It might be true, but he can't prove it. And it's forbidden to tell. So don't advertise with that. And it is said that it contains 80% of malt whiskey and only 20% of grain. So that the, uh, the content, the malt influence is really high. So this is a harmonic complex smell because you do not select a particular cask or a particular cask from a malt whiskey distillery. No, you buy or you have those casks from a lot of different distilleries and then you mix it. You mix it to the point that it tastes all year round and <laughs> throughout the world and everywhere it tastes the same. Then there is a sherry note, sherry note behind that. There are dark fruits. Definitely sherry notes in it, yeah. Resins. Light nuttiness. This is from the sherry casks. Light oiliness in the beginning, and then spiciness kicks in. A lot of oak, really prickling, spicy oak. Light bitterness appearing, bitter chocolate, and uh, probably a hint of grain just to make it a little oily. But it's a little weak because it's only 40% ABV. So this whiskey you do have to taste two or three times. So have two or three uh, sips in your glass, then all the spiciness will add up and you will not lack the amount 
of alcohol, which I would say 43%, 46% for the first impact. But the second and third, I think we will go here. Mm -hmm. The taste becoming stronger. The alcohol is well, you're able to taste the alcohol through, which you weren't in the first sip. The spiciness is becoming stronger, going further down my tongue. And the, the espresso note is not as strong as the spiciness of the oak. So there's a little bitterness in it, a light, faint bitterness. And now my mouth is completely filled. There's a smokiness. In, on the inside of my my mouth uh, there's a little dryness at the roof of my mouth um, yeah the spiciness is there the aftertaste is quite long and astonishingly spicy yeah so this is definitely a heavy whiskey and in the nose it's this sherry note the uh, the darker fruits of the sherry combining with the light smokiness, no alcohol at all. Complex, wonderful, friendly, light vanilla in the background. And as soon as you sip on that, then the explosion takes place. Lightly starting and then increasing, increasing more spiciness. A little ginger note, probably a light peppery note. So with the third sip, it's even stronger now. Yeah. So this is a well, an expensive whiskey, a blended whiskey, which is not that popular for um, expensive whiskies today, but it's very well done and it's. Well, a masterpiece over this, the centuries. Yeah, that's it. So this is the top bottle regularly available from Johnny Walker. And if you have a, <laughs> an uncle, a good uncle, then that's the right bottle. Or probably your father. He will enjoy that very much. Or if you have enough money, it's yours. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.